from the Telegraph, residents surrender Thai city to monkey gangs headquartered in an abandoned cinema. Whoa, yeah. Residents of the ancient Thai city of Laburi are living in fear of marauding gangs of monkeys as thousands of primates brawl with each other, attack shops, and take over the streets in search of food during the coronavirus lockdown. Laburi province and the antics of its macaques have long lured hordes of foreign tourists who pose with them for selfies in exchange for free bananas. But as tourism dried up because of the global pandemic, so too did the monkeys' food supplies, prompting a violent turn in their behavior. Ah, unintended consequences. Local efforts to make to offer the monkey mobs some nutrition may have backfired, as some say a sugary diet of fizzy drinks, cereal, and sweets has fueled the animals' sex lives, making their population grow even more. As Pramo Kitampai, who manages the city's Prong Samyad Temple Shrine, sold AFP, the more they eat, the more energy they have, so they breed more. <laughs> Funny how that works. Monkeys patrol the walls of the temple in the center of the 800-year-old city to protect their turf. In March, they staged a brazen raid on another group of monkeys living around the Fra Khan Shrine on the prowl for temple offerings. Their invasion, captured in a video that went viral on social media, resulted in a vicious street fight that stopped traffic for 10 minutes as the rival gangs screeched, charged at each other, and engaged in paw-to-paw -paw combat. As uh, Supakarn Kai Chot, a government veterinarian, told Reuters, Reuters, they're so used to having tourists feed them and the city provides no space for them to fend for themselves. With the tourists gone, they've been more aggressive, fighting humans for food to survive. They're invading buildings and forcing locals to flee their homes. The human population has had to continue with uneasy existence as part of cities, parts of the city cede complete control to the monkeys. Man, these videos are incredible. Thank you for pulling that up, CJ. An abandoned cinema has reportedly become the primate's headquarters with the projection room turned into a cemetery where the monkeys lay their dead to rest. A nearby shop owner said he displayed stuffed tiger and crocodile toys to try to scare off the creatures and prevent them from snatching spray paint cans. As, as one resident said, we live in a cage, but the monkeys live outside. Their excrement is everywhere. The smell is unbearable, especially when it rains. For years, city residents have had a love-hate relationship with their monkey neighbors who attract tourist dollars but regularly create mayhem, breaking windows, stealing groceries, and damaging cars. So I'm wondering, like, is, is what's happening to uh, property values in the city? If people are leaving, obviously, a very, very cheap place to buy a home or an apartment right now, if you don't mind living in Monkey City. Interesting option for homesteading. Maybe you could build yourself a monkey-proof homestead. In the middle is it maybe you could maybe i mean you can maybe you could have an awesome house with a monkey cage all around it as these 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 hordes are coming in and just put like this is crazy this and you think about the like why i i'm excited about the story it's cool just not as like a freak phenomena but what it, it makes me think of in terms of could Humans make an abandon. How many times in human history have we abandoned cities? So, like, yeah, you know how we put all this effort into building this city? Eh, not even worth saving anymore. We're just going to walk away from it. Like, what, you know, in Chaco Canyon in, in our neighboring state of New Mexico, where I've, I've done some filming, like, Native American city just abandoned. Different things over different periods of time have caused this before. You think in the modern era, what was the last time? Humanity, I can't even think of it. What was it like? Is there a recent time that uh, I'm sure they're a little, you know, in war and conflict, you know, there, there have been times, but aside, like, what was the last time humanity was like, yeah, we're just going to walk away from this project now? We don't want to live here anymore. Too many monkeys. Okay, Chernobyl. There you go. Yeah. That's, yeah. 
That's about Chernobyl. Monkeys, though. Yeah. Monkeys. And is it mad? And it's funny. This is also a man-made... Like, every project I've started and failed at, I feel so much better thinking about Chernobyl, you know, and, and, and thinking about um, th this city. Uh, wh what is the name of the city? Lobbury. You know, I think about Lobbury here, and it's like, well, yeah, they screwed up. Like, we try, we put all this effort, we created this, and then we screwed up the animal control part, and now we're kind of... So are they going to abandon the city? Like, chunks of it being seated they just give ah, ah where is this, this whole neighborhood this is monkey territory now <laughs> monkeys beat the humans in a city made by people not made by monkeys so for years city residents have had a love-hate relationship with their monkey neighbors who attract tourist dollars but regularly Create mayhem, breaking windows, stealing groceries, and damaging cars. But the worsening fights, along with reports of locals barricading themselves in their homes and no-go zones for humans, have prompted the authorities to intervene, restarting a sterilization program after a three-year pause. Wildlife department officers have placed big cages around the city, filling them with fruit to lure the animals inside and then take them to a clinic where they are anesthetized, sterilized, and left with a tattoo to mark their neutering. They aim to treat hundreds out of the 6,000 strong macaque population within the next few weeks. Well, to the good people of Lapuri, good luck reclaiming your city. The big question that comes out of the story is, which is more effective? The Occupy movement or a horde of monkeys? So far, it looks like the monkeys are winning.